You may think that walking through walls is impossible, but have you ever heard of quantum tunneling? It's a real thing that I don't understand, so I'm about to have a two minute elevator ride with a quantum physicist who's gonna tell me what it's all about. So tall. Hi, Chris. Hi. So I've learned a little bit about quantum entanglement before and it was pretty confusing. Please tell me quantum tunneling is a bit easier. Yes. You've got 45 floors up and down, so let's do it. What is quantum tunneling? Okay, first, I want to give you this. Thank you. If I take that ball and throw it at the wall, what will happen? Bounce back. It'll bounce back. It doesn't have enough energy to go through the wall. I want you to imagine that as a proton. Yeah. So now we're talking about quantum mechanical things. It's not a ball. It's a fuzzy blob of probability, okay? <laughs> <laughs> How can something be a probability? Well, what it means is that it's not here or here or here or here, but it could be spread out in the possible locations. And if you wait long enough, you could find it anywhere. <laughs> what? Okay, sure. All right, so, okay, so, so a so single proton could be anywhere. Could be anywhere but there are more likely places it can be. And these places are vastly more likely. If you take any one proton and you kind of trap it, say within your experimental device, it'll probably stay there forever. But if you did that a billion times, then one time you'll find one that has left. If you think about it as a ball, then there's a barrier that it can't pass. It doesn't have enough energy, but when we think about it as a probability, sometimes, even though the probability is small, it will end up on the other side of the wall. So when they do, we say that they've tunneled through this repulsive barrier. Okay, I will accept that for now. <laughs> We're halfway through. All right. Is tunneling useful for anything? It's happening all the time. So without tunneling, well, we wouldn't really have anything. But I thought it was all about probability and it's really rare well, for tunneling a, to happen. It's rare for an individual object, <laughs> but it's common because there's always lots of quantum objects around. If you have lots and lots and lots of protons, like for example, at the center of the sun, there's just the right amount of probability so that enough fusion is happening to, well, let us be here. I thought the pressure and heat in the sun was enough to just make fusion happen. Even in, at the center of the sun, all of that heat, all of that energy doesn't give the protons enough energy to overcome the repulsive force. So nuclear fusion is caused by quantum tunneling? Yes. Does tunneling always cause fusion? Tunneling generally? is just something that we call a quantum explanation for an event that happens due to the like, quantum chance. Once you dig down deep enough and try to find a deep enough description of anything, the biological processes in your body, how you smell, how you see, you have a computer in your phone, it has lots of transistors, these are a few nanometers across. If you want to explain it, at the level of the individual atoms that are carrying out these reactions, you need quantum mechanics, and those will all be based on tunneling probabilities. On a scale of one to 10, how much do we as a human race understand about quantum tunneling? Uh, I would say we've tunneled through 10. We're, uh, we're at 11. Really? <laughs> okay. Our entire modern world is, is based on our understanding of quantum. <laughs> all right, well, I have some thinking to do. Thanks, Chris. You're welcome. And thanks for my proton. My proton. You know, every time we talk quantum physics, it's really confusing. But thankfully, I had Chris to walk me through it. Okay, so there are quantum particles everywhere, and they exist in this realm of probability. They're not in a fixed location, they could be in a number of locations. In fact, they could even be in an improbable location. They can be in locations that they don't have the energy to be in. For example, protons overcoming electromagnetic repulsion to come together in nuclear fusion. They shouldn't be able to do that. Traditional physics can't explain it. And that's where we use the term quantum tunneling. But funnily enough, as improbable as it is, it's actually happening everywhere, inside our own bodies, in our smartphone, even in the sun. 
Now, I am still a little bit fuzzy on the details though, just like a quantum particle. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're curious about our universe, then you are gonna love our documentary series, Catalyst. We'll put more details down below, or you can click here for some shorts. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos. See ya.